Hello everybody, I am the Sano Man and today we are doing a video at Japan Creek Market. This is one of my favorite supermarkets in the Las Vegas area to get good Japanese food. They also have a uh, Japanese kind of convenience store style fresh food section. Um, you can get cooked rice, you can get uh, onigiri, and uh, even bento boxes, so let's check it out. Wow, look at all the ramen they have. Insane amounts of ramen. Let's see. We'll go with the soy sauce flavor. Yeah, that looks good. They even have like a utensil section, it looks like. You can buy knives. The bamboo rolling mat that you use for sushi, some sort of grill. Not bad. It's a little late, so it looks like they're almost out of their bento and deli section, but we ordered some just so you guys could see. Ordered me a mackerel bento, but yeah. Looks like some miso soup green tea powder. What? They even have manga here. Look at this. Insane. This is pretty cool. Oops. Different books. And it looks like they have little knickknacks here as well. Very interesting. Convenience store style desserts and other packaged goods. Bean sprouts. They also have imported vegetables and whatnot from Japan. I'm telling you, this market has it all if you want true authentic Japanese food. If you guys have never had Japanese mayonnaise, you definitely need to try Q Pie mayonnaise. It is like the standard in Japan and it is absolutely delicious. Those of you who have tried it know that it tastes completely different than American mayonnaise. Different rice seasoning, shiso, furokake, sesame and salt furokake, all kinds of different rice seasonings. Look at that. Could that be Giga pudding? Different packaged and baked goods. snacks. Look at that. Looks like they even have mochi, red bean mochi. Looks like I found my shelf. Oh yeah, I actually really don't like sake, but Sapporo is good. Sapporo makes good beer. I have no idea what these drinks are called. Ramune, but they are absolutely delicious. You definitely gotta try them if you come here. Alright, and we are back from the Japanese Creek Market. 
You guys are probably wondering, wow, Sandman, Man, you went to the Japanese Creek Market, you shaved, and you got a new shirt. The truth is, I filmed, uh, I filmed this section uh, a different day because we ended up having a big snowstorm in Las Vegas um, when I got home. Uh, in all honesty, I was just too lazy to record myself. But today, we've got a bento from the Japanese Market. Um, it's not the same one I said that I was going to get. This is a beef teriyaki bento. It looks like it comes with some rice, with some furikake, which is uh, rice seasoning on it. And then we've got um, some pickled vegetables. Right here, uh, I'm not exactly sure what that is. I've had it before though and it's pretty good. Then we've got the beef teriyaki and I believe this is a sweet potato or a squash of some sort. For my drink, I have no idea what this is called. But um, it's a type of soda or a fruity kind of carbonated drink. And it is very, very delicious. So, we've got those two items. And then for dessert, we also have one of the largest apples I've ever seen in my life. This is a Fuji apple. Uh, it comes from Japan. So, We'll just go ahead and get started then. We'll start off with the main entree right here. This is the uh, beef teriyaki. It looks like a thin slice, a thin slice of beef covered in um, some sort of or teriyaki sauce. And uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and try it. Hmm. It's definitely saltier than I thought it would be. Um, usually when you get like teriyaki chicken from restaurants or you know even fast food places the sauce is very very sweet. This is more of a mild sweet sauce and um, the beef kind of has like a kind of like a salty jerky flavor to it. It's pretty good though. I'll just wash it down with the drink here. Alright and this is our drink. Sponsored by Nintendo. Just joking. It's not sponsored by Nintendo. It's a carbonated soft drink, it says, but it's really good. So, yeah, this beef teriyaki is saltier than I thought it would be. You can see the, the meat looks like it's got little fatty pieces on it. It's more of like a jerky with like a salty, saltier... Definitely saltier teriyaki sauce. The uh, rice next. Now we'll see if this is more like American white rice. Or I can already tell it's more like Japanese white rice because it's sticky and it's more clumped together than just like your Cal Rose California rice. Let's see. Hmm. It's definitely different than regular, like, Cal Rose rice. The texture is a little different. It's weird. It's not, it's not as sticky as I thought it would be, but it sticks together better than, like, Cal Rose rice. Um, let's see. Next on the plate, we've got, uh, we've got pickled vegetables. So we've got regular pickle-style pickles, and then I believe... This is an eggplant pickled, so uh, we'll just give it a try. Very unique taste to it. It's not, it's not super salty like American like kosher pickle. The eggplant next. Mmm. That one was a bit stronger. That one was definitely way more salty. Less of a fragrant flavor and more of a bitter flavor. That's why we got the drink to wash it down. Looks like next on the dish is our mystery dish. 
Um, it looks like it's got some some hard tofu on it, the deep fried tofu. Um, maybe I think this might be like a daikon radish with carrots, maybe. Um, but yeah, we'll just go into it. Yeah, it's got a mild like ginger flavor to it. Um, very mild flavored actually. Yeah, I don't know. Not much to say about it. It's the flavor is unique. Um, but it's not super strong, not super bitter. It doesn't taste nasty. Doesn't taste super good though, um, but yeah, it, it tastes good. It tastes pretty good. Um, and then this, I'm not sure. This actually might be pumpkin. Now that I think about it, it's it looks more like a pumpkin or a squash of some sort, um, rather than a rather than a uh, sweet potato. Let's see. Hmm, it's definitely a pumpkin. And lastly, we've got the Fuji apple. Should I eat it with the sticker on it? Nah, not gonna do that. But yeah, look how big that is. It's not your standard Granny Smith or Red Delicious. But uh, let's see, we'll see how it tastes. It's more tart. It's not as sweet as like a Granny Smith apple. And the skin seems to be a little extra tougher than regular apples, but it's pretty good. So yeah, um, I would say, I mean, this isn't, I wouldn't say this is like restaurant quality. Like if you went to a Japanese restaurant and you ordered all the same thing, I wouldn't say it's that good. Um, it's definitely better than like Jack in the Box teriyaki beef or like, you know, some teriyaki beef you'd pick up at the store. Uh, Japan Creek Market did a good job. Uh, I think it's it's a pretty good meal. Um, I mean, the serving sizes are great. Look, there's a lot of rice. Um, yeah, you get your vegetables, you get two side dishes, and then your main dish. Um, and then it's all, I think it's only like, I think it's like $7, 7 or $8 for this. So, I mean, it's a good meal to grab on your lunch break or when you're on the go. Definitely tastes better than like fast food. If I were to rate this meal out of 10, I would say it's probably, mm, I'd probably say like a seven out of 10. Um, like I said, it's not restaurant quality. I wouldn't take your girlfriend out on a date to get some convenience store uh, Japanese food, but it is, it tastes really good. Unfortunately, I've never been to Japan, so I can't compare it to like real Japanese convenience store food. But um, yeah, it's, it's it's pretty good quality. I suggest you try it out. That's at the Japan Creek Market that's in Las Vegas. Um, it's not that far from the strip, maybe like a 15 minute drive. Um, and they've got all the other cool stuff within the store. Um, I'll catch you next time at the next video. And uh, yeah, Sandal Man out.